Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to lay out a stair stringer. Um, so things you'll need is you'll need a set of stair gauges and a framing square. Um, in a previous video, I showed you how to get the numbers for the rise and the run. So you can, if you don't know how to get those, you can check out that other video. Um, I'm just gonna use kind of a standard, easy layout. I'm gonna set this one on seven. So I'm gonna put the edge of the, right on seven of the stair gauge on seven. And then this one, I'm gonna put on 10 and a half. So you line them up on this, those numbers. Okay. Now, you want to make sure that when you start your first step that you leave enough room because there's going to be one more up here. Okay. So I need at least 10 and a half inches. So that put me someplace over here. So that leaves me enough room to make one more stringer at the top. Okay. So I got 10 and a half inches here. So then all I have to do is mark along the edge of framing square. Now I'm going to line this up. So this line right here is right on the edge of this stair gauge. So they have to be right in line. And sometimes you have a curved board and it'll throw it off if you don't. All right. So mark it and then again, go down, slide it down to the next one. Make sure that the line is right in line with the end of that mark. Now, on a big staircase, you may have to do this 14 or 15 times. Um, on this short one, we're only gonna have to go half a dozen or so. Okay, so that's the last one. So now once I get that part done, I can remove the stair gauges and I come up to the top and I'm gonna put this at a 90 degree angle And I'm going to go 10 and a half inches for my top tread. And then all I have to do is go 90 degrees off of that line. And that will be my top tread, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, so at the bottom down here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go 90 degrees off of this line, but this time I'm only going to go the riser height, which was seven and a half. And then I'm going to go back 90 degrees off of this line so that this, this part will sit on the floor. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things you have to do before you're done. Number one, at the bottom, you have to, this is gonna get a tread. So depending on how thick your tread is, so let's say you're doing this outside and you're using inch and a half treads, so the inch and a half tread would be like that. In order for this one to be the same height as the rest of them, I have to subtract that inch and a half off the bottom of my stringer. So instead of cutting this line, I would cut this line and this would all be cut off. Okay. Now, if you want to tie all your stringers together, what you could do is make a little notch at the bottom for a two by four. Then you could, if you have three or four stringers, you could tie them all together. You would cut this out. So you cut along here, cut here, and then you would put a two by four across the bottom, tying all your stringers together. Up at the top, I want to be able to, I personally like to tie my stringers together. So I'm going to subtract off from the back of this an inch and a half. So I'm going to cut this off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nail a two by six or a two by eight to this end, the top. So when I attach to the floor above, I just have to lift all three of these up together and put them in place and nail them 
nail them down. So I have, it's a lot easier to attach them when they're set up as a set than individually, I think. Okay, so basically that's it for laying out a stringer. Then all you would have to do is cut, make sure you always cut to the waist side of your line, always leave part of your line so you get a nice even um, treads and risers. Now, code says I can be up to three eighths of an inch off. Personally, I think that's a lot of be it off. Um, so just take your time, do it right, and you'll get a nice set of square and level stairs when you get done.